hey what's up guys so today we're going to do a little exercise together and through this exercise i'm going to give you the best possible experience of what spatial audio is on the airpods pro through any earphone that you're using right now it doesn't have to be airpods pro it could be airpods it could be any other brand headphone or earphone but make sure you're using headphones or earphones to watch this episode because then it'll make sense so with this exercise i'm going to try my best to replicate what spatial audio is on the airpods pro which came with the latest update uh, of the ios 14 so even though i thought it was a gimmick and i'm not going to enjoy it but i was mistaken with the content that is there on apple tv plus spatial audio really surprised me in the good way so we're going to do a little exercise i'm going to explain how we're going to do it and through that i'm going to try my best to replicate what spatial audio is to give you that experience and then you can decide if you like it then you can go for the airpods pro and well enjoy and if it's not your thing well then you know now many of you don't know what spatial audio is so first let's take a real life example so when you're talking to someone in real life or you're experiencing say you're on the road all the ambient sound that you hear when you move your head to the left and right you don't hear that equally through both your ears i mean obviously you hear the sound through both your ears but if you turn your head to your left so your right ear is now facing if the sound is coming from the front your right ear is facing so your right ear is going to get the majority of the amplitude of the sound and your left ear will get a little bit less it will hear something that's close to it on the other end again if you move your head to the center you're going to get an equal magnitude of sound and if you move to the right you get the idea so in general when you are watching movies listening to uh, uh, using normal headphones or earphones you get stereo sound obviously left right separation with good uh, audio recording and good earphones but when you move your head around the sound is static that's not what spatial audio is spatial audio takes into consideration the gyroscope sensor so it keeps a track of where you're moving your head and the sound moves with you it tries to replicate the sound moves and it tries to replicate as if you were really in that environment and it truly makes a difference really makes a difference so like i said if i'm listening to a dialogue and i'm looking at this person so if i move my head the sound i hear if i move it to my left i'm going to hear it more on my right and i'm going to hear some other ambient noise from my left so just to give you an example before we do the exercise so right now i'm if you can listen you can hear me equally through i mean on on your left and right here so now i'm moving to the left and now i should be more in your left ear again now i'm back to the center it's like i'm in your head and now i'm going to the right side so this what i did right now you didn't have to move your head i did the moving but this is what happens automatically with spatial audio on the airpods pro and with the exercise you'll get to know it will make more sense and if you can follow along you'll get that experience and then you can decide what you want to do so okay enough blabbering let's get into the exercise and let's see if i can give you an experience of spatial audio with whatever listening device you're using right now all right guys so now we're going to start the exercise and how this is going to go is that i am going to move to the left and right of the microphone that i have and i'm going to do a counting as well so i'm going to when i say i'm going to go to the left i'm going to go like 1 2 3 at this space and exactly at this space when i'm going to go to my left you are going to turn your head to the right as if your left ear is facing me if i was in front of you and then from the left i'm going to again say 1 2 3 i'm going to come back to the center and you're going to move your head in front then from there i'm going to go you get the idea to the right saying 1 2 3 and I should be in your right ear and you are going to in that pace in that same counting you're going to move your head to the left as if your right ear is facing me so you get the idea and again we'll come back to the center so got it okay so let's start 
so right now i am at the center you can hear me equally through both your ears left and right i'm inside your head so now i'm going to go to the left you're going to move your head to the right and we're going to go at the pace at that counting and you're going to slowly move at that pace all right so one two three now i'm in your left ear opposite now don't move your head keep it turned to the right now i'm going to go back to the center same counting let's go one two three now i'm back to the center now you're looking straight at your phone now i'm going to go to my right and you're going to turn your head to the left so that your right ear is facing me if i were in front of you so let's begin one two three And now we're gonna go back to the center. So keep your head turned to the left. Your right ear is facing me, and now you're gonna to look to the front again. Let's begin. One, two, three, and I'm back in front of you. So right now, what you did, you followed my cue, and you had to, you moved your head, and as you did, if you did it correctly, the sound moved with you. So it gives you. it's as if because you moved the sound moved with you and you heard that more on your right ear or left ear based on the exercise we did so that is what spatial audio does when you're watching movies so it's a really more immersive and realistic uh, experience it really heightens the sense of belonging to that scene or situation when you're listening to it the sound makes a huge difference so that is what spatial audio is and you i, I mean I, i can just imagine the amount of ingenuity that went behind getting this to work and it's really good but one thing you should also know that um spatial audio is right now optimized for uh, the airpods pro through a number of uh, movies or uh, uh, i think uh, sitcoms or whatever that is available on the apple tv plus as far as i have checked So if you're watching videos on YouTube and you have spatial audio turned on it won't make a difference at least in my testing it didn't make any difference so it is right now optimized for the content that is there on Apple TV plus and maybe in the future updates we'll get more and more uh, videos or content that will be optimized for spatial audio that can take advantage of this uh, tech but as of now it's on Apple TV plus but you really should give it a try and If you're any way contemplating on buying AirPods Pro because you already have an iPhone, uh, spatial audio is good. It's not a gimmick. It does make a difference. Now, obviously, there are definitely better sounding, cheaper alternatives to the AirPods Pro out there in the market, but nothing that does spatial audio. And if you're in the Apple ecosystem, you know how seamless and smooth Apple products communicate with one another. So. it really makes a huge difference anyway guys that's been the exercise of spatial audio i hope you got that experience from whatever earphone or headphone you're using if you've enjoyed this video i would really appreciate that if you smash that like button subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and family who don't know what spatial audio is or are wondering want to get an experience this could be a very crude yet a closest possible way of experiencing that so i'd really appreciate if you do these three things and thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one